You gotta wonder how big this dude's dick is. Nah, I'm fucking with you. <coughs> to all my new subscribers, um, for those of you who don't know what this series is, uh, Mind of a Fighter is where I play UFC Undisputed 3. And uh, I basically use any fighter I feel like using, either the best one or the shittiest one, and uh, give some people who also play this game some tips on what to do when they're using this person and they're fighting against this other person. And as you can see, I'm using the Gio 8T, the greatest of all time, Anderson Silva. And I'm playing against some fucking C5 Hendo faggot. And yes, I call him a Hendo. F I call all anybody who uses Dan Henderson a Hendo fag, because Dan Henderson. People complain about John Jones, uh, John Jones being cheap with spinning backhands, but fucking Dan Henderson's just way crazy with it. Okay, I get. Don't get me wrong. He has a lot of knockout power. I mean, that's legit. But the fact is, the, 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 pretty much all people do is spam backhand, straight rights, and hook. Ba uh, those three combos, right? Uh, like we just saw the kid doing in the beginning. So, if you're going to complain about somebody using John Jones, then don't fucking use Dan Henderson, you faggot. He's just as gay. Now, anyway, back to what I was saying about Anderson Silva. Um, I mean, what, what more do you need me to say? I mean, you've seen the guy fight in real life. That's pretty much how he is in the game. You know, he has some, uh, some nice jabs, some nice uh, head movement. Uh, great chin, really rarely, he, well, not rarely gets rocked. He really can, like, take a lot of punches. And you see, he like he has a nice little taunt there. I think he's the only person in the game that has that exact taunt. Um, most people just have like you know where they just dance for a second or something like that. So let's see. He has jabs. I like his two-step jab. That's one. I like to use fighters who have two-step jabs. Only thing about him is is like he's um I think he's a southpaw. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not really good at using people who are uh, who are southpaws. So that's my only issue with Anderson. I think I. I think he's an orthodox. I'm not really sure. I fuck yeah. Not even looking at the video right now. But yeah, and then um, you know, he has obviously those front kicks. I mean, is the is he uh, is that him on the cover? Of, I don't know. I, I I think on the cover of the game is him kicking B toward Belt Four in the face, or is that just like the game startup menu? I don't know. And then uh, you know, he has some great Muay Thai clinches. You know, clinches, clinch. You know, get the person in there, knee him about three or four times. They're gonna be rocked no matter who they are. That's pretty good, and um, I mean, he has spinning back hands, flying knees, fucking spinning back kicks. This dude just has like almost every move possible. One thing is, uh, because this game is before the, um, no, right after the Chill Sunday fight, he doesn't really his takedown defense isn't the best, but it's still pretty good. And um, you know, he has those power fucking hands on the bottom. Um, I don't know, well, I usually use, I open up with some jabs usually, but since this kid we use a hand up. But yeah, that's pretty much all you really need to know about Anderson, other than just fucking use that front kick right there. Ooh, sleep, bitch. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably hit you up with some Call of Duty content tomorrow. Peace.